Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Monday. I am here with a thread up unboxing. We're going to be opening a designer box. I just got done recording my St. Patrick's Day video that went up yesterday. So I am still wearing my St. Patrick's Day shirt. Um, the fun box crawl was an amazing time. I hope you guys got a chance to check out all of the videos. If not, I will have that video linked here so you can check it out. And in the description box, we'll have the full lineup of all 16 creators. So you can go back and check it out and let us know who got a great box. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Lindsay and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. I post mystery unboxing videos Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, but I do throw in bonus content, so make sure you also hit the bell notification when you subscribe. And if you enjoy the video tonight, please hit the thumbs up for me. I'm going to be opening a designer box that just arrived today, and it came to me from Swanee, Georgia. So I know I ordered it really recently. And these boxes have been super difficult to get again. Um, there was a period of time when they were staying up for hours and they were really easy to get and now they're selling out within seconds again. So um, I don't have a huge stockpile of them here, but I do have a couple. So we will have, you know, I try to do a designer box or so, um, one a week or, you know, if not, then every other. Um, but it may be difficult to be getting them again. So let's see when I ordered it. They have been shipping pretty quickly. I ordered it on March 11th and they run $140 plus tax and $9.99 shipping. And I do have a purse in here. So I'm going to try to hold this up so we can get a first look. It is a little heavy. So that is a purse by Stella McCartney. So that's pretty good. Okay, right, so let's dive in and see what we received. This is a nice um, shoulder kind of hobo style. And Stella McCartney is all um, faux leather. So this is a faux suede and then it does have these gorgeous gold chains. And then the Stella McCartney logo here. I will be putting some pricing in the video. I should have mentioned that before I was showing the purse. Um, so if there is anything that you're interested in purchasing, I would just need you to send me an email uh, with your mailing address if you've never purchased from me before, and I'll get you out a PayPal invoice. Uh, I am noticing a few marks on the exterior, but nothing too bad. I will look it over again when I'm in better lighting to make sure I'm not missing stuff. But in general, I think this is in pretty good shape. Um, there is some wear to the um, metal. It's a little bit of color loss, um, but nothing too bad. And I am noticing an interior mark there. And um, there is quite a bit of interior staining. So I can probably almost turn this inside out so you guys can see, but... There's definitely some residue marks in there, but no bad odors, um, so that's good. And it is just a wide open space, so there's no organizational pockets, no card slots. So um, it would probably benefit from putting an organizer in here, but I do really like how slouchy it is, and it is in a very beautiful taupe color. So overall, I think it's in very good condition. It is a little bit on the heavier side with the chains, um, but it's a really nice purse. So not bad. And next up we have a dress. And this is by Zach, Zach Posen. So this is a lower line of Zach Posen. And I believe it's a 10. And it is a spaghetti strap. And then it's kind of um, a crisscross. And it is a floor length black gown. 
So it's gonna be really hard to see over here what uh, this looks like. I can see if I can maybe find a stock photo for it. Um, and I'm not really sure exactly how the straps go, but it does have some like pleating on there. So a little gives it a little bit of a detail at the top and it is a weighty material. Um, let's see if there's a material tag in here somewhere. It looks like it's in good shape. So I am not seeing a material tag anywhere in here. So I'm not too sure, um, but I will look this over and see if I can maybe find a stock photo or any more info on this dress, um, but that's a good item. Next, we have a blouse and this is um, 10 Crosby Derek Lamb. And this is a size four, very cute sleeveless button up and then it does have the tie here. So that's really cute. Um, this is a size four made in China, a beautiful blue. And I don't see a material tag in this one either. Um, there are some deodorant marks on the interior, which isn't a big deal. I'm imagining it's just cotton, it's really soft. It looks like it's in very good condition and very nice um, little bow at the bottom. So that is cute. Next up, this looks like it could be Missoni and they are pants, um, but it is not, it's Trina Turk. I don't love getting this brand in the box because her stuff does not generally resell well. Um, this certainly has a Missoni vibe to it. And it looks like there are some kind of shorts that are at the top, so it's not see-through there, but it is see-through through the legs. So these are really fun. They're a size two. And they're made in California of imported materials. 100% viscose and a polyester lining, dry clean only. So I will have to look those up. Um, it looks like they're in pretty good condition. There may be, you know, just some kind of frayed stitches there, but I don't see any holes. And they're pretty fun. So not terrible. Hopefully we have some decent shoes in here. Um, next up is a sweater and this is Oscar de la Renta. This is a medium. And it is like a oatmeal heather with a cable knit detail. And then it does have a nice fleece collar on it. So it's very soft. This also looks like it's in good condition. It's got the quarter zip. And this is a medium, 80% cotton and 40% acrylic, made in Bangladesh. It says it is from fall 2012, I believe. So it is an older piece, but it appears to be in good condition. So I will do some research on that one. And next up, we have a pair of suede pumps. They do have a really cute detail on the back there. Um, they're Stuart Weitzman. It looks like these would be fairly comfortable. Um, they're made in Spain. And I don't see a size in here. That is the most annoying thing about getting the shoes. So it looks like it was probably on the interior and then it wore away. 
because it is not on the bottom, but these are in really good condition. So that is a bummer. Let's see if I try them on, if I can kind of gauge. Yeah, they might be like a size eight and a half, possibly. But if anybody's interested in them, I can certainly try to measure. But those might be a tough sale without having the size in there. Um, really, really nice suede and in very good condition. And I do love this little detail at the back. All right, and last up we have Manolo Blahnix. These are interesting. I've never seen one with a two-tone um, logo there. So let me know how that seems. Um, these are a big size and a 42. And they are a snakeskin slingback kitten heel. So they are a good style and in pretty good condition. So these are a size 12, but probably fit more like an 11. And a little bit of creasing through the toe, but overall they are in really good shape. So I will look into those. Like I said, I've never seen it where it's two-tone color on the um, tag, but they are in very good condition. These, you know, are a big size and very good condition. So I think those will do okay. That was number one. Number two, we had the Stuart Weitzman's without a size. We had the Oscar de la Renta sweater for three. Four, we had the Trina Turk pants, which are fun. Five, we had the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby cropped blouse with the tie. So that was cute. Six, we had the Zach by Zach Posen long dress. And then number seven was the Stella McCartney uh, faux suede purse. So hopefully this comps well. I really don't have any idea what this might go for. So hopefully that will make a chunk of the box back. Um, you know, but like I said, there are some marks on the outside, but nothing too terrible. So overall, it is in good condition, but you have to um, take a gamble to get these boxes and they're always fun to see what we get. Um, let me know what your thoughts are and if you had a favorite item. I appreciate you watching and I will be back on Thursday with a brand new video.